Hi, I'm Colin the Head. Today's modern world of Wi-Fi, internet and mobile phones is another community which exists among us. The forgotten community of radio. Over the last 10 years, CB radio has been in a steady decline, but there is still actually a large proportion of breakers that are out there using the CB radio for day-to-day -day communication. Now what we want to do in this program is introduce you to the faces behind the voices. A general dedicated group of breakers that are out there using the radio every day is a vital means of communication from A to B. The local CB population is varied in age from the old to the young and basically it's just a common interest that most people in the, today's society has forgotten about. You know, you know, the old CB gets forgotten about, but it's a free form of communication. So now, let's meet the breakers. Our first portal of call is Emsworth, where we will meet Gary Halfpine, otherwise known as Gary Bowler. What we're trying to do, really, is try to get inside the breakers' heads. We want to really get inside to know what makes them tick. So what we thought we'd do this documentary and then um, take it from there, really. And there's a vast knowledge and wisdom and intelligence that's actually out there on the radio which anyone with a CB radio can just plug into at an instant. Gary Bowler lives in a place in Emsworth called Beacon Hill. He's probably the most powerful station round here and probably gets out as far as Bridlington on a normal day, on a clear day. People have said he can be heard on the other side of the Pennines over in Manchester. So really what you're dealing with is a high powered station finely tuned CB setup is what Gary, Gary runs and as you find when you get there it's, it is a tight ship. The higher you aerial the better you're going to get out again so ideally you want to be on top of a hill with a big aerial up basically. Right we're just at the foot of the climb for get to Gary's uh, house and home as you can see by the incline. As I was saying earlier on in the show um, the higher you are as far as CB is concerned, the farer you will get out. As you can see, it's quite a steep incline. This is a very steep incline. This is a very steep incline. We are, we're just climbing up to the top of Beacon Hill now, as you can see. And here we are, Gary Bowlers, as you can see. This is his antenna. Let's go in and see him then. Beat the breakers. Hello. Hello, what's up? Hello, Gary Bowler. What's up? You alright? Yeah, good. Beat the breakers. Oh, there, you come in. You need a minute of your time, please. Yeah, of course you can. You come in. Here we are in Gary Bowler's radio shack. Would you like to show us around your radio? Well, there's not much to show, really, Colin. It's just an old uh, Union N2830. It used to be Greg's. Oh, Greg Babymaker. No, Greg uh, Babyface. Babyface. Oh, yeah. right. Big Greg. Big Greg. And that's about it, really. Just a little old base in here. Yeah. Little power out. supplies, not much. And then turn the plus 3B. A bit right. better than that, but it's alright. It works alright. Steady away. I'll go with the Drekker's questions. DB. The first CB is the CB which I've still got here. The Comtron? It's a Comtron CB 40F. So when did you have one of them? At the age of 11. Is which... that when you first came on the CB? Yeah, and they are the best CB you can buy in the world. Are they? Yeah, Comtron. You... The so that, that's the answer to my next question then, I was just about to ask you. Yeah, yeah. What, well. What's the best CB you can buy? It depends. Is it a Comtron? I'd be happy, yeah, the Comtron is the best CB you can buy. Better than your Lincolns, your Jacksons. The 2830s. Oh, you yeah, feel blind it. Excellent. I don't right. want to use it because of too much power that it does. And so, the next question I want to ask you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, why do you use the CB? A hobby. Is it a hobby? Well, basically, I have nothing to do. Right. You know, every day I just get up and I just I sit on CB every day. This is me from morning to night. Fantastic. And I'm not going to lie to you, basically. Interviews. So, Gary, who do you hate the most on the CB? Well, to be honest. Truth for two people I do hate on the CB is number one is Bandit Ten. I, I don't even know the kid, but I don't like him anyway. And the second person is Taff. He's always mobile. I don't know if you know him. Causes a lot of trouble in that. Does he? Yeah. All right. So there you go. Live on location with Gary Bowler and Colin Lead. You can see Gary, you've got a bit of a bandit going off in corner here. Well, 
I use this for my spare time, basically. Do you know, if I'm away from, you know, from the CB and there's nobody on, I just go on my bandit and... Just a few wheels out? Yeah, just a couple of pennies in it and that. Sound. Just it keeps me happy and it keeps things afloat and that. That's great. I enjoy it. It's what you enjoy doing at the end of the day, Well, it? that's it, innit? It's living a life like mine. It's, you've got to keep things there. Uh, is it true that you're in business with bandits and you, I am, you, yeah. you deal them? I do sell bandits, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought you did. Yeah. But that's my favourite bandit. That's my favourite one. Yeah, it's the first bandit ever bought, truth. Is it so. true that it's on EastEnders? It is, it has been on EastEnders. It has been on EastEnders. Yeah, it has featured on there. Alright, so you've got like... Well, Ian Bill's used it. Has he? Yeah. On that particular model? Ian Bill's actually... Excellent. Pressed, you know, the start button. That's fantastic. It's great. It's great. So, I wouldn't lie about it, yes. So Gary, why don't you like Taff? Well to be honest, uh, the reason why I don't like him is because he causes a lot of trouble and all he does all day is he drives around and he just slags people off. And then you never see him in day, yeah, never, you never, never see him in day. Yeah. He'll fill van up at night with uh, red diesel and uh, he comes out at night and that's it and just causes loads of havoc. And I think it's, it's shocking. It is. We're going to see Gary Ball in action on rig. Well, I'm going to show you how to use this unit then. It's, it's very basic really. It's, uh, it's just a President Lincoln but the first one which I'm just listening to some Germans on here at a minute. I'm going to show you how to I'll get a copy but not on German stations and that. Let's go back to the normal 19 channel that we always use. And, uh, let's get you a copy. 19 or Roger? 19 or Roger? That's about it really, I don't think I'm being out. If I put my control on though, people will be able to hear me a lot better. Because it is a lot better radio. You'll never get a better radio than a control. <clears throat> See, riggers are very passionate about the radios. Gary's also a keen gardener. So let's go out to his garden and see what he's growing. Right, I've just stood outside Gary's house in Gary's garden. And uh, you know he, he decided to come out and show us his vegetable patch. Gary, we're going to give us a tour of his vegetable yeah, well, patch. Yeah, not much to say really, Colin. It's just you know, a little homegrown farm and that. You've got your peas, your potatoes, your carrots, your cauliflowers, red cabbage, onions, strawberries, garlic, everything. Rip. Really. We've got a few gnomes. You tell us a bit about your IMAX. IMAX 2000. It's probably the best antenna I've ever had. Uh, RG213 coax on it. It's alright, it's not very high really, but it's, it does the job in that. I'm in a decent location, so... Well, we were talking about your height earlier, saying that the height and altitude of your, of your CB is a big big factor in any CB. Yeah, it is. is. Height is might, really, Colin. Yeah. yeah, height is might. Height is might. Yeah, that's about it, really. I can't really show you no else. As you can see, Gary's a really interesting chap. Right then, Gary, we'll leave you alone. Thank you for your time. Yeah, not too much. Uh, I appreciate we'll it. We'll see you on the radio another time. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Good. Thank you, Colin. Cheers. See you later, guys. Thank you, Mac. See you later. No problems. Right, that's about it for Meet the Breakers this week. I'll catch you again next week for more interviews from Meet the Breakers. Takes up time.